Our first couple of videos were on modern nymphing techniques, techniques specifically that have originated from European competition anglers. As competition anglers, Lance, Egan, and I have fished a lot of different rivers all over the world over the last 10 to 15 years. And though we're most known for nymphing approaches based on those two videos, we realize that rivers are complex networks of lots of different water types that hold fish, and that just nymphing does not apply to each of those water types. In this video, we hope to teach you some different methods that we use based on the water types that we're confronted with. We also hope to instruct you on when and where to focus on each water type within a river so that you can spend your time in the best areas at the best time and show your flies to as many fish as possible as a result. Typically when I'm out on a river, I see most anglers taking two approaches to covering the river. The first one is the it worked last time approach, which basically means that they fish the same stretch of water over and over with the same flies repeatedly because it worked last time, so why wouldn't you do it again this time? But there are so many things to be learned by breaking out of that mold. Another approach that I see a lot is the cherry picking approach. And basically this is the approach where you hit all the obvious honey holes and you leave the water in between unfished. But the reality is that especially at certain times of the year, all that in between water has a lot of fish and oftentimes they're fish that have not been picked on by a lot of anglers so they're very willing to eat. The challenge is then adapting your methods and your strategy to fit the water types in front of you and then learning which water types hold fish at different times so that you can spend your time most efficiently while you're on the water. In this video, we hope to provide some strategies that take you from being that angler that just uses the it worked last time approach or the cherry picking approach, but instead becoming an angler that thinks critically about the situation that's in front of you, the water type that's in front of you, the conditions that are in front of you, and then making a plan based on your observations that target the water that you have to fish in the best way possible. With these strategies, we hope that you will have more successful and more efficient time on the water, and that you can bring lots of lasting memories home with you.